Hey, orange one here. So in this episode, I'm going to go back into the lab and do some more clearing it out. Um, I kind of changed my mind from the last episode. I think I want to kill that beagle just because I'm pretty sure we can with some EMP grenades. I was thinking about like just regular explosives are kind of dangerous, but we can make EMP grenades and we've got plenty of materials to do that. So I think three would be more than enough. Let's just go ahead and make six. Because we have the materials too. We might as well make it all right now. There we go. So we've got six EMPs. Our power is kind of low. So we should probably get some power from some stuff before we go ahead and uh, try and kill this thing. Go ahead and just dump that down. Take care of our hunger and our thirst. We actually don't need the filter mask, do we? We can try dump that down too. And that cash card. Dumper cable. We'll keep the scalpel on us because we're probably going to find some bionics in there as well. Yeah, I think with the EMP, we should be okay. Is it day now? It is. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Um, before we go in there, let's just get our bionic power up a little bit more. And then we'll go get that beagle. Is it just me or does the menu look a little bit different right now? For <clears throat> looking at all this stuff that's laying around us. I think it is. Oh, was that duct tape? Yeah, duct tape. Nice. I was thinking of making some of our own duct tape anyways. But if we don't have to, then we don't need to. That's nice. Alright, let's go get this beagle. It was down here and it was off to the side. Maybe we should listen to music just in case it shoots the grenader again. I feel like the grenader may get up if it hasn't already. Slime spring fighting that thing that's yeah funny. All right, this is where we need to be careful. I do want to see if I can hear it. Sorry, I just had an alarm go off. Let's see. Alright, moment of truth. I'm just going to turn on our cloaking CBM first. Turn on our flashlight, see if we can see it. Where are you? Huh. Um... Strange. I don't see it around. It's around here somewhere. Hold on. Turn off the cloaking device, CVM. I'm hearing something to my south, so I think it's down there. Safe mode, let's keep safe mode on just in case it comes out of nowhere. Okay, there it is. Um, looking system on. 
And this is really close to us. Just drop it. Did it die? It says stun to turn. Um, but it's not down. I'm nervous right now because I think that it's about to see us. Um, let's turn off the flashlight. We know where it is roughly. Keep safe mode on. That didn't work as I had hoped it would. Can I move that thing? Broken Scarebot. Just gonna close that. That used up a fair amount of my power, so I'm just going to be um, a little bit cheap and get some power back. There's no reason to try and fight this thing fairly. Oops, stop running. You know what? I don't need either of those. Oh, only 15 power? Are you kidding me? Alright, we need something like smash these items around us. Because right now this stuff's not going to get broken with our hands. Can we wield anything? Will our flashlight be able to smash this stuff? No. Hmm. I should have came a little bit more prepared, huh? Yeah, I would really like to have more power so that we can CBM cloak ourselves. Okay, here we go. That's doing like no damage to that. Let's get our power back here. We're not getting a lot of power back, but we're getting enough to be able to do something. Wait, I can't get that power. I think our EMP hit us, that's why we lost so much power. So I'm going to try out something I saw on Reddit. Someone had added the ability to do a blind throw. So I'm going to try that out against this beagle, see if that works better. We know roughly where it is. It's like pretty much on the other side of this door. You know what, I think the EMPs, they did such little damage last time, I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of nervous about this. I feel like a different strategy we should try because the, uh, that other EMP did like pretty much nothing to it. So I'm going to go ahead and get our military rifle, because I saw online someone said that the military rifles actually are able to damage these things. So we'll do, we'll try something else, try out a different strategy here. Instead of doing the EMPs, let's get our, um, I think our scar, yeah. Oh, it's like right there. Perfect. Let's get that, and we'll try that out.
Is there anything that we can have? Um, any broken hacks? Broken tear gas hack? Let's take that just in case. And some broken man hacks. It's like free power, basically, and I think we're going to need it. Um, we'll have our atomic coffee when we're right by it. Just make us just that much faster. Go for this. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. It's like right there. Alright, well let's have our atomic coffee. And... I think we're going to need our cloaking system on pretty much right away. Get our power back though. And we'll turn that on. Okay, yeah, it's right there. Critical did nothing. Oh man. Hmm. That doesn't seem to be doing any damage. Yeah, we're, we're gonna try something else out. This might be the end of our character if this doesn't work. Just gonna eat our broken man hacks. He doesn't have anything powerful <sighs> for real. I don't think that we're going to be able to kill this thing. And I don't want to see, I don't want to take the time to uh, find out, <laughs> to be honest. We tried though. We really did. I think trying anymore is going to just end our character. We finally met our match. It was a beagle in a lab. <clears throat> Not even our scar heavy can hurt it. I thought like this is like got really high armor piercing. It took out that one um whatchamacallit? That one like zombie and power armor. That seemed to work, so I thought that this would... It looks like it's not enough. Let's put those back with the scar. We don't really need the scar. Not for exploring the rest of the lab. Before we head down there though... Oh, actually, wow. They must have changed how the lighting works, so... I don't see that it's light out if I'm in here like this now. That's kind of cool. I like that. Can I make another deluxe sandwich? Yes, I can. Nice. And then let's get back in there. We'll actually loot the place now instead of just messing around with this thing. Turn off the internal furnace so we can actually eat. And yeah, it looks like it is an ice lab because our character gets really cold down here. It's kind of interesting. We haven't f fully explored this floor, have we? We should probably do that before we go down to the next level. 
A because there'll be less distance to carry things and B it's good to be thorough. Is that why I think it is a portal? Well, if it's going to teleport me near the beagle, I don't want anything to do with it. We've got spiders. Um, put them on a molecular blade out. Because we can deal with spiders pretty easily. And I'm going to take the time to clear out these webs. It's kind of an annoying because I have to smash each time I want to do that. But you can see that there's some items here. So it's usually worth it to actually clear this area out and see what those items are. Because you do get some good stuff from time to time from that. I remember in my old game, I got most of my power armor from spider basements. I don't know if that was kind of a bug or somebody had just really raised those values high, but it'd be crazy. I would like find power armor helmets just in like some dude's basement, and it's like, what's the story here, you know? Like, closed frosted glass door. Um... Yeah, but anyways, as I was saying, it'd just be super weird. Like Cataclysm, it's kind of funny with the procedural generation because it kind of creates its own stories and then sometimes they put little stories down for you to find. Like you can find um, a corpse with a shotgun. I think I've had that in this series, haven't I? It's a while ago though. I like that a lot, how you can have these like references to these tropes and like zombie survival of finding this dead body. Oop, got a turret there. It's gonna shoot us. We're not careful. And I think if we are careful, we can actually shoot them from a distance without them even seeing us and not even waste our power. Get the bolt driver out. Mm, looks like we might need to get this other door open. Oops, stop running. I think it's the windows, just how they're positioned. Yeah. Hmm. Should we try and go around? I think we should just just see if we can go around. I don't think we can. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can. Cause that'll be a, a lab right there. Well. Oh, yep, they just shot at us. Let's just go invisible for a minute so they stop shooting at us and then we can shoot them. There we go. Yeah, this cloaking CVM is probably our most useful CVM. Like, either that or the repair nanobots. I suppose you don't need repair nanobots ever, if you're being smart, but having the cloaking can get you out of some really nasty situations. Oh yeah, mutagen. Yeah, let's see what mutagen you have in here. Nice. We'll take all of that, whatever you have. We got quite a bit of uh, serum in here, including troglobite serum. I think we could give to Michael because we were making that anyways. Because he deteriorates, one of our NPCs, that is. Yeah, 
I know we didn't need to go ranged on that, but I felt like it, seeing how we already have it out. Is there a lot of frosted doors? Wait, we've already gone around here. We just didn't check this out. Was there something like dangerous or something that we were trying to avoid? I feel like there was. We'll, we'll take the plastic bag. Oh, what's this? Oh, nothing special. Just a cockroach for us to kill. You know, bug smashing. I've been um, on the Discord a fair amount recently. God, some of those developers are just so amazing. They work so hard and they make so much content in such little time. Like, I don't know, I haven't played much other open source projects, but it just always impresses me with how much these people work on something for free. Is that why I think it is a uh, grenader? No, it's just a soldier. Kind of surprised he's not coming towards us. There we go. I think it's just him. And look, we're very cold now. So we're gonna have a bunch of magazines in here for us. Oh no, it shut down. Okay, well we'll have to come back here. While we're here, though, let's see if they have that um, martial arts book that I was looking for. I've forgotten what it was, but I think it was... Was it the Silat book? Water Survival? What's in that? Can we even learn anything? Yeah, I guess we could learn something from it, because we actually aren't that good of a swimmer. I love the books in this game. Shotguns, the art and science of it. So silly. Practical skier mode, we already have that. Um, let's just get some power back for a minute. And then we'll keep on looting. Okay, um, let's keep on seeing what else is on this floor. I think that we've explored most of this floor. There's spiders and whatnot, there's this over here. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. There isn't anything to the south of here, is there? There's that Shogoth. Are there some doors through the smoke? There might be. Let's put our gas mask on and just double check. Oh, no, it doesn't look like there are. So it looks like it's just gonna go to like the Shogoths right there, which we don't need to go after. Right, let's go back up and just drop off what we've got here. And we'll keep on looting. I do like this tile set for how it lets you know if you've got a flashlight on or something. That is really nice. Much appreciated. Actually, maybe we should keep the broken man, man hack. Yeah, we'll keep that on us. And then... Pretty much taking care of most of our needs. And I'm gonna close these windows again because Stump is still sleeping. 
He's, he's healthy though, he's back up to full health, so if we wanted to maybe we could get him some more combat experience. Might be not a terrible idea. Did I... I thought we made a deluxe sandwich. Is that not around here? Oh, that's weird. Got a frozen one right there. Okay, well. It is what it is. Let's eat what we've got here. And we'll keep on looting this area. Um, where are the stairs down around here? There are actually a few stairs down, so I just want to be smart about picking one that's nearby. It's easy for us to get between levels. I think this one's pretty good. Yeah, we don't even really need to even go in that room if it's got a turret, because we know what the area around here looks like. Mutagenic serum. I would never take that myself, but maybe for an NPC that would be good. We do need to be smart about this because we are in an ice lab and that will slow us down if we take too much time in this level. And you can see that our face is already getting very cold, and we're going to get even more cold. This is one of those labs where it's nice to have the internal climate control. We should have our Halligan bar, shouldn't we? Well, while we're here, let's just get what we can. gonna be bedrooms huh so if we need power we can come back here for some power but I don't think we really do need power right now All right, like 600 is okay whenever you can get purifier that's good especially if you've got um, PK's mod because purifier is pretty hard to make I think it's good. I like that they've made um, your fire cost a lot because you should be committed to your mutagen. I just kind of don't like the mutagen random right um, random dice rolling. Maybe purifier. They have like the there's that one guy who added a uh, targetable purifier to an end game location. Um, I think it's a lab. Pretty sure it's a lab. Yeah. So that's kind of a cool idea, but I at the same time think you should be able to craft that if you've got really high crafting skills. It looks like our head's starting to hurt, starting to get damage from being so cold. Alright, that means that this area is going to be a pain to loot, like literal pain. <laughs> Okay, let's just go back up because I'm. Our ears are ringing. But just from metal screeching. Okay, let's just uh. Let's head up, right now. And we should probably get some warmer stuff on our face. Maybe we could also get the Halligan bar. Oh, you know what we should do is we should go get the magazine stuff. Totally forgot about that. That's more important than just like checking a few crates. Oh, hey, Stump. 
Welcome back to the real world. Um, hold on. Halcon bar, yeah, grab that. And what's our artifact called? I've like completely forgotten what our artifacts are called. Oh gosh. It's gonna be so low down on here, isn't it? The problem is I bet I just go over it as well. Fractal snake, was that it? I think that might have been it. Let's just double check. For science. Oh no, that's the one that gives you a happy feeling. And we're not really sure why it does that. It's kind of odd. I have literally no idea what this thing was called. It was like a... Spiraled... No. Oh gosh. Where is that? That's to my southwest. Maybe it's over here with it. So I don't think um, artifact is a category, so I don't think that we could search by that. Hmm. Isn't it something that held four charges? Maybe if I search four. We could search the by charges. No, that's not working. Maybe it's just up here. Not seeing it. Hmm. Okay, well, I think I've been recording for a while now, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, I just want to make... Oh, no, it's frozen. Yeah, I'll end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.